Well hello, this is just a little preamble before we get started. This is the beginner's guide to acro flying. I think I'm going to call it that. Um, what I want to do in this playlist is basically take you through um, a few of the manoeuvres you might see other people doing and you know want to learn how to do it and practice. It's things like rolls and flips and split S's and proximity flying and that sort of thing. I, I just wanted to quickly tell you how I'm doing this and what you need to have done beforehand. And I'll start with the latter part first. So in terms of the prerequisites for this, you should be able to basically fly in FPV safely. Um, and what I mean by that, you need to make sure you can bring your quad under control just flying around normally. It doesn't run away with you. You're flying in acro mode. And please check my other playlists, which I'll put down there. And maybe I'll put up here as well. Um, if you're unclear about how to set your rates, um, how, how you can fly an acro gently, you know, so you're not out of control. Basically, as long as you're in control, you can fly fast and both slowly. You can bring yourself under control uh, as you need to. Uh, then you're good to go and good to try this sort of stuff out. So please carry on. Now, in terms of how I'm filming this, it's, uh, it's not quite unplanned as such. It's, it's more off the cuff. What I do, I go out into the field, um, I put my GoPro session on my quad and then I put my normal GoPro filming my sticks so you can see my sticks and I do sort of a live voice over there. Um, so sometimes I make a bunch of mistakes and you can see how not to do it as well as how to do it. Um, and a, a word of warning there, I, I do my best. I, I On the, these ones I did, I turned my back to the wind that flew in a completely different field than normal, but I still get a little bit of wind noise sometimes. So please bear with me because it's just live stuff as it's happening. Um, and the only other thing to say is I've, I've kind of done them in an order where I say... So in the, in the first video I go into a lot more detail about stuff. So try and watch that one before moving on because it's kind of a sequential thing. I expect you to know in number two and number three what I was talking about in number one. Um, and some of the things I've talked about I will just assume you know later on. So please watch that one if you don't watch any others. Which is, happens to be this one as well. So carry on watching. Just don't move. Okay, let's get on with it. See you later. Hello everybody. Welcome to Let's Try and Do Our First Roll. We do first get in the air. Now I've got to say that the reason I'm doing rolls is because, you know, there's probably some other prerequisites, but everybody wants to get in the air and get upside down. So I thought, let's do this one first, because it's a pretty safe and easy one to do, but it's, it's not too hard. And I haven't done one in here for a while, so let's just check I can still. So, most of the acro manoeuvres are built round inertia. I think a good analogy is a tennis ball. If you had a tennis ball and you just dropped it on the floor, it would just drop. And that's kind of akin to just being still and taking the throttle off and down you go. If you threw it straight forwards, it'd go forward and it'd drop down. And if you were just going forwards and you took your throttle off, down you go. So what you tend to do is, is sort of throw it slightly upwards and forwards and you get this arc, which is akin to pumping the throttle and you see, even though my throttle was off, I carried on going upwards. And this is, if, if you like, this is what the right way of doing it is. You sort of, um, you pump out and do your manoeuvre. And so all that time you've, you've not lost any height and you've kind of, you've either stayed level or you've kind of gained height a little bit. So I'm not going to say, yeah, do that. Well, you should do that, but first time out that's quite a lot to remember isn't it pump throttle take throttle off do your maneuver put throttle back on now four things easy to get confused at so what i thought i'd do is say look you can do it just with using one stick even with your throttle on it's not it's not a problem and then you can build up to it so the first thing to do is make sure your rates are right make sure they're not going to be over the top and you know you're comfortable with the amount of rotation you got I've got to say, when, when I, or, you know, especially, that was rubbish, wasn't it? Other free, freestyle pilots you see do these rolls, it's, when you see this blistering speed of them doing it, it's not that they've got superhuman eyes and can keep track of it. It's all a timing thing. It's literally, that much equals a roll. That much equals, ugh. Should be that much equals half a roll. Nope. I'm, <laughs> I'm flying a mojo, which I haven't flown for a while, so that is half a roll. Okay. If you've ever seen me um, doing review quads and take them out for their first flights, often I'll, I'll end up like this and have to 
sort of keep correcting. That's because every little quad, you set them up the same in beta flight, but motors and props and everything make slight differences to uh, how they perform. So yeah, sims are great if you want to try this on the sim first, but the more stick time you can get on your actual quads can be easier. Anyway, so in order to do this sort of safely, what you want is height. Height's going to be your friend here. And you also want that horizon. Try and stick that horizon right in the middle. Now, if you're in sort of a self-level mode, you'd probably be out like this, which isn't very useful at all. So don't do that. Here's our horizon. Here we've got, you can see we've got plenty of height. Horizon's in the middle. I'm going to leave my throttle as it is, and I'm going to slowly turn around. Now, obviously I dropped some height there, but I already had height, you know. Height is your friend when you're starting off with these. So you see, I didn't have to go mental. I didn't have to drop the throttle. I just went up. I held my throttle about mid. I can't see it because I've got my goggles on. And I just went over. Now, you'll probably have a way which you feel more comfortable with. Mine is pulling my thumb that way, um, which feels, for some reason, a little bit easier than pulling my thumb that way. But if you're a thumber, you might feel the same. Try both and see how it goes. Now, obviously, okay. what you want to do is build up to start dropping your throttle. So you can go up, drop the throttle. You still don't have to go fast, you know. We've got loads of time. We're not dropping too quick. Get your throttle back on. And as you build up, it's going to be the case of getting a little bit smoother. Again, it's not, you don't have to be quick. And what I would say is rolls is like, yeah, you've got a fast roll, you've got a slow Ten, roll. Nine, you can also eight, seven, vary your speed in rolls six, as well. Five, That's always good four, to do. Three, two, one. There's my countdown. I've been too long in here. Another good thing to do, although I was terrible at it, is getting used to holding that half position. This is going to come in really useful in other manoeuvres. So just understanding your timing window to get that half roll in for other things is going to be really handy for you. Then once you get it together, by all means, that's when you can come lower, do your little pop, you can do your roll and you can just carry on. But build up nice and slowly get your half rolls, you can even go in and out different ways. Basically just get used to it and don't forget to keep that horizon in the middle because that is your useful point to keep an eye on and depending where your camera angle is you might need to even alter your pitch stick just a little bit as you go. What you don't want to be doing is pointing upwards because you know where am I? Yeah there's a bit of, bit of horizon bit of ground there but if you're like this you can't see so if anything you want to be facing down more because you can at least see what's downwards right I'd better land because my battery is looking very dodgy indeed but that is rolls for you pretty easy pretty basic you just have to sort of take a bit of a bravery pill the very first time give it a try use plenty of height and uh, see how it goes questions comments down below I need to get this battery down Well, you've made it to the end of the video, so thanks once again for watching. If you like what you saw, then please consider subscribing. And if you really like what you saw, then be sure to check out the link to my blog for a variety of ways in which you can help support this channel.